Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. There may be no better investment we can make in our kids than pre-kindergarten education. Near in our region, PNC Bank, which sponsors this program, has been supporting the idea through its Grow Up Great campaign for well over a decade. And it seems to be gaining some traction nationwide, at least according to one recent survey. In fact, there's a growing, case, uh, growing business case for child care, which was the focus of a recent forum right here in our region. Tara Simonello is executive director of the Pittsburgh Association for the Education of Young Children, also known as PACI. <laughs> Sally McCready is back with us. She's president and chair of the PNC Foundation. And welcome. Good to have you both welcome. here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, nice. You're back. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about this. PACI went out and, and kind of did a survey of, of what's happening in the world of early child care. Did, is, is there a sense of new momentum in this space? I think there is. So, um, you know, for years we've talked about K-12 and we've talked about workforce development. And I think what's happened in the public sort of atmosphere is the understanding that it really begins at birth. That when we think about um, helping individuals reach their fullest potential, folks understand that it starts at birth um, with young children and that the investment and the care really needs to be there from the beginning. And, and I know uh, Sally PNC's been uh, working this issue for 13 years since she set up the old Grow Up Great, well, she's still continuing, obviously, the Grow Up Great initiative. Uh, clearly, this is a priority for PNC. Why has the bank made it such a big deal? Oh, abs it absolutely is a priority for us, um, both in our in philanthropy and our employee engagement, and we really, just as Kara said, came to this about 14 years ago and really understood what an amazing economic development mm. and workforce development tool early childhood education is. And we felt that was a very important place for us to put our resources. Uh, yeah, well, so okay, economic development, workforce development, I get the good to have education for young kids mm. part. Why is this also of such great economic benefit? So studies have shown, it's really amazing, there have been a number of longitudinal studies that show that children that have had access to high quality early education are two times more likely to be ready for their first day of kindergarten, mm -hmm. four times more likely to graduate from high school or earn 25% more over their lifetime and are five times less likely to rely on public assistance. So when you think about it in those terms, uh, that's an amazing economic development return. There have been studies that have said it's as high as a $16 return for every $1 invested in high quality early education. But the key is it has to be quality. Mm. Otherwise, you're not going to get that type that type of return and Pacey's just done an amazing job across our region encouraging that level of quality. Yeah, Pacey's been around, what, since the early 1960s, yep. right? Yep. So it's a long time at this. And, but you've, you've also surveyed other regions of the United States. How are we stacking up these days so relative to other efforts in yeah. other places? So for a long time, Pennsylvania was really the leader in early childhood. We were one of the first to have um, an office at the state level dedicated to early childhood. So that's the Office of, early child, the office of child Development and Early Learning. Um, and in years past, I think we've had a little bit of a, a step backward. Mm -hmm. um, but we're excited that recently, um, that at the at the legislative level that we've had increased investments um, and so we're again picking up momentum there's a lot of good work happening at the Office of Child Development and Early Learning also known as OCTEL um, to really support and shore up the infrastructure um, to Sally's point to make sure that the quality settings or the environmental settings that children in it are in are high quality. Now, this has been a big part of what PNC has been about as well it's not just writing checks mm -hmm, for good correct. programs but it's also services you're providing for your own employees right? Right absolutely so so in addition to our philanthropic efforts supporting Grow Up Great and our, the communities where we live and work, we also have amazing benefits for our employees in terms of our parents, their child care needs. And I can uh, speak with authority on the topic mm -hmm. because I've used basically most of our, uh, most of the benefits that we offer. We have something called the Great Start Program where new uh, employees of our, ch our children uh, of our employees that are new parents or just adopted a child uh, can use this Great Start program. We have it in Philadelphia and here in Pittsburgh. It's subsidized child care. We offer it for eight weeks when you first come back to work. It's $10 a day. And not only is it a terrific benefit for our employees just in terms of cost savings, 
but what it does is it really allows our employees to see what high quality child care looks, mm -hmm. looks like so that when they're going out and looking for permanent child care, they, can, they know what to look for. Mm. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. I, you mentioned that the states restored some of the funding. I think yep. in the governor's budget, Governor yep. Wolf has been a pretty good champion yes. of this, put $30 million in the budget, so that's coming along. But I do wonder, how, how many, uh, what's the unmet need in our region yeah. when it comes to doing The, un the un here? unmet need is great, um, and it's going to take more than sort of the investments that we've had um, at the state level. We really need a concerted effort across local, state, and federal um, to, to really start to tackle the unmet need. Um, it's, you know, the number of children that um, don't have access to quality it is, it's more than 1,100 in the city of Pittsburgh, um, and, and that's something we need to address. Um, to Sally's point, two-thirds of every family, uh, two-thirds of families who have children under the age of five have both parents working. And so you really need, um, you need quality, high quality, um, early experiences for children so that parents can feel comfortable about going back to work. Well, that's a big part of you know, lost productivity, mm -hmm. just parents yeah. being worried about the kids instead of yeah. focusing on the job. That's a real issue. Yeah, it's, it's estimated that, that companies lose $3 billion a year because of absenteeism due to their employees' childcare falling through. Wow. So it really is, um, behooves corporate America to support their employees and their childcare needs um, for a number of reasons. So if people want to help or get involved or just find out more, how do they find you? Yeah. So you would go to our website, www.paeyc.org, okay. pacey.org. Um, but I think there's a number of ways that folks can get involved. Um, for families who have young children, grandparents who have grandchildren, it's really about better understanding the child care needs. Um, get involved in your child care setting, ask teachers, ask the directors, you know, what are your challenges? And then uh, better understand those challenges and go to your elected officials and say, look, we need this to be priority. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's really about sort of educating yourself and then doing the constituent effort to say, we need those investments. Um, it needs to become a priority. All right, very so. good. Kara Simonillo uh, from Pacey and yep. Sally McCready from PNC Foundation. Thank you both so much. Thank Appreciate you. Thanks, yeah. Bill. Thanks. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.